welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Janae if you're new and welcome to a new video I make content centered around my health and weight loss journey nursing school journey and lifestyle and I hope you subscribe so happy new year everyone we have all made it to January 1st 2023 I cannot believe how fast 2022 flew by like honestly I feel like it picked up wings and flew by so of course with a new year it's time to set some new goals some new intentions make sure we're cleaning up get just you know getting your whole mood ready for the new year so in today's video i'm just gonna let you know how i'm starting off 2023 this is going to be my first of many monthly resets um just letting you guys know how my month is gonna go what i have scheduled what i have planned and what are my goals for that month so if you're interested to see how i'm resetting for the new year and for the month of january then keep on watching yes. so we took down the christmas decorations a couple of days ago and i am not the type of person who still want their christmas decorations up after the new year comment down below if you're just like me or if you'll keep your tree up for valentine's day and saint patrick's day and easter and let me know in the comments down below but for me i don't want to see any of that <laughs> come january 1st so it's all gone made sure to do a little bit of decluttering got some old junk out of here cleaned up the entire house of course and just finishing up some laundry i also made sure to my food shopping that way you know i can start off the new year right as far as my meal plan is concerned so you guys with this new year i am in school and this is the first time i've been in school full time since 2017 yes 2017 is when i graduated last so i am back in school again and i'm definitely trying to make sure that i manage my time that is one of my goals for this year is to manage my time well and efficiently so i got me a new calendar a new agenda and i i really don't use these things well i start off with the best intentions to use a calendar and then somewhere down the line i just stop using it so i'm actually using a written form and a digital form that way i have everything i need on my phone on my laptop or my desktop or my ipad it's all there it's all connected and i'm using google calendars so that way when I'm on the go, I know exactly what am I doing for today, what's coming up, all of that good stuff. But I also like a written form as well. So I am going to give the written form calendar a, another chance. And I picked this one up from Target and I actually really like it. It starts with this cute little cover page, start each day with a grateful heart. And it's not like a bullet journal or a five minute gratitude journal. I know that's really popular. I'm just not really into those things. But what I do like about it is that it, it's not filled with a whole bunch of fluff like most calendars are. And it really gets straight to the point. So it has the first page, it has like this year's wish list which I'm going to write down my goals and what my focus are what my wish list is for the year but in front of each month it also has like monthly notes and then for January it breaks it down it has personal goals health goals work goals financial goals and then some important dates and then just a box down here which I put as quarter one goal so I want to break my goals down for the whole year have like just a handful of big goals for the years that I want to accomplish and then I want to break down those big goals even further into quarterly goals and then I'm going to break that down even further to monthly goals because where I failed at in the past, um, along with my time management, is just having these big goals and nothing to really measure it 
as 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 life is going on and i feel like if i'm breaking it down to smaller more realistic goals and i can get to that bigger goal so for example let's say my goal for this year is to lose 100 pounds um for the whole year 12 months and i can break that down into quarters okay so for this quarter these three months i'm gonna focus on losing 25 pounds okay bet i'm gonna break that down even further for that month that we're in those three months in that quarter i have to lose about eight pounds to get there and that feels a lot more realistic than looking at the whole big goal of 100 pounds because along with my time management skills another goal that i want to set for this year is being consistent and having discipline and that's something i also lack as well and that will help me with all areas of everything that i'm doing for 2023 so i went ahead and wrote down all of my year goals i want you guys to go ahead and write down your 2023 goes as well i'm not going to share them all i did share a couple i'm not going to share them all because of course they're they're personal to me and keep yours in the bag but i do have them written down and at the end of 2023 i'll probably share them all and see what we checked off so it's january it's the first month of the first quarter and i already have my goals set out so i'm gonna share them with you guys as far as my January goes, I would like to lose 10 pounds. I would like to start eating better and work on consistently eating better. So I'm not going to be focused on macros and calorie counting and all that stuff. I just want to get back into that habit. And speaking of getting back into habits, I also want to start working out again. Not focus on a split or anything like that. I just want to start moving my body again i really want to take this first quarter and focus on being consistent at something that i'm doing that way when i get to the second quarter and i'm reevaluating what i did the last three months i can be like okay now it's time to put a structure into what it is that i've been consistently doing the last few months so that's for my health goals for the month of january as far as personal goals is concerned i'm starting back school up again but i do want to get back into reading and not just reading for school so i'm gonna take it slow and i want to read a book a month so i already have my book picked out and um i want to finish that book in the month of january as far as school and work is concerned i failed miserably at staying on track with my assignments and not saying that I was like a week or so behind but I was waiting to the last day to get everything submitted and I kind kind of want to do better with that space out my stuff for the week better and controlling my time better um that way i'm not feeling so stressed and overwhelmed so that's something i want to focus on as well um making sure i stay on track with my assignments and as far as work is concerned i mean work is work but i did have the opportunity to do acls so i want to finish that and get acls qualified so that's something i'm going to be finishing and working on in the month of january so it's little goals for the month of january just trying to get into the flow of the new year um i didn't want to bombard myself with a whole bunch of stuff because then that's when I start feeling overwhelmed. And then. so monthly resets moving forward. This is my first one but for February and going forward. I want to talk more about how I did as far as my health and fitness and eating. So kind of like a monthly weigh in like I used to do on my channel. Um, so I'm going to incorporate that. I'm going to talk about just school, different assignments, different things that I went through for that month. Um, for school and for work I hit my goals and you know just some other little things for my monthly reset so if you're interested in monthly resets or you have a monthly reset 
flow let me know down in the comments below or what it is that you want me to incorporate in these monthly plan with me get ready with me type of videos for the month okay so that's it for today's video if, if you enjoy this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon that way you're notified every single time i post one of these or any of my other videos guys so so much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye.